Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome to our newest class. I am very excited and very glad that you have decided to join me in this class. Thank you for that. And uh, I assure you that you will learn some very interesting things in this class and an absolutely new business model that you can use from today with ze zero financial costs to start to make money online right away and to build a business online. So our class is called three ways to make money online with arbitrage. I will tell you immediately what arbitrage means and why we will be discussing three ways of using this type of uh, business to make money online. There are even more than that, but we will discuss three main ways that I found to be the simplest uh, out of them all and practically can generate a very uh, fast income from you uh, even from the first few days up to uh, a month since you start this new business model so let's dive into the information first of all let's start with the beginning uh, we will have a short introduction and first of all i want you guys to understand exactly what arbitrage means because this is very important so arbitrage is the practice of taking advantage of a price difference between two or more markets so striking a combination of matching deals that capitalize upon the imbalance the profit being the difference between the market prices this is a definition according to wikipedia probably i've lost you somewhere along the way if i would have uh, have heard this uh, this definition for the first time for arbit arbitrage i would have probably understand uh, like nothing but it's actually very, very simple. And let me explain you in the next slide how this exactly works. Uh, arbitrage. So we have a product. Okay, let's say we have an iPhone or a Samsung phone or anything like that. Okay, it doesn't matter. We have a product that it's sold in two marketplaces. Market one at $25 and market two at $37. What is arbitrage? Arbitrage is practically buying from market one the product and selling it into the market two. We are actually profiting from the different price points of the two markets, which will be our profit, obviously price market two minus price market one, which is actually $12. That will be our profit. So it's actually a very, very simple business model and the classic profit formula, uh, buy for less, sell for more, and you will get a profit okay that is what arbitrage is in economical terms now let's see what types of arbitrage we will discuss in this course and class first of all we will discuss about arbitrage for physical products so like the example i just gave you with the iphone but it can be practically related to any type of physical products uh, i don't know even shampoo if you want to or anything that it's a, it's a physical product then we will also discuss about arbitrage for digital products or services which actually it's a more new type of uh, of arbitrage to say so but it's uh, it's getting uh, more and more traction and it's very useful and it can be a very lucrative business model now how is this possible okay how can we practically use this business model and why especially we can use it right now and why we should take advantage of this business model well first of all it's a model of business that can be done without upfront financial investment you don't need money to start with i'm one of the adepts that uh, every business should start through the lean startup methodology and if you can start a business without any upfront investment that's even better and that's all possible because uh, the digital era that we live in okay these practically differences be that exist between marketplaces and so on if you think about it maybe 20 25 years ago uh, this couldn't have been possible okay uh, if you even think about it uh, even more than 25 years ago most of the billionaires on the planet were people that were uh, over 50 years old okay and now uh, a lot of the billionaires from around the world are actually people from the high-tech internet uh, internet business models okay that started with actually no money at all and they are billionaires under 30 years old that's because 30 years ago you needed a lot of money to start a business and nowadays you actually don't you can start from scratch with absolutely nothing in a dorm room exactly like facebook started okay so this is possible because you don't need any upfront financial investment. So it's actually uh, a business model that it's accessible for absolutely anyone from anywhere in the world. This is very important. Now, the multitude of online marketplaces that 
have appeared in the last 10 to 15 years allow us to profit from different price points for, for the same products. Why? Because we find marketplaces that are based in India, in China, in Europe, in the United States, in Africa, and throughout all of these uh, of this, uh, of this, uh, different countries and uh, of these markets, there are different price points okay so for example uh, a product that in the united states it's sold for 15 dollars it's very likely that in europe can be sold for 20 dollars but in india it's sold for five dollars and maybe in japan it's sold for 25 dollars okay and we can easily profit and juggle with these prices so we can actually uh, take uh, take a profit from this okay now, sourcing products, it's also easier than ever because of the business-to-business -business online marketplaces. So, uh, if, we've, uh, if we go 20 years back, it was also very hard to find products, okay, that you can sell. Now, it's very, very easy because we have all these business-to-business -business online marketplaces where we can find suppliers from all around the world, okay? That makes it very, very easy for us to find uh, products that we can sell to clients in different marketplaces. Thank you guys very much for your attention. This was all for uh, for this introduction. I'm looking forward to see you in our uh, next video and lecture, which will be very interesting. So stay close and I will see you in our next lecture. Bye bye till then. Sorry in here. Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome back to our next video and lecture from uh, this class on free ways to do money online with arbitrage. We have talked uh, a little bit about arbitrage in our previous lecture and video and we have uh, spoken about the fact that we will talk about two models of business with arbitrage in this course, uh, practically uh, the one with digital products and services and the one with physical products. And right now in this lecture, we will uh, talk about uh, uh, physical products arbitrage. We will go into more details and which are the options of business that we have into uh, this type of arbitrage. So let's con go on with physical products arbitrage. First of all, we have uh, we have the first type of physical products arbitrage, which uh, I personally like very much, is business to business physical products arbitrage. And let me just give you an example of this type of arbitrage, because it's a little bit different than what we will talk about in this class, but it can be a very lucrative business model. For example, you find a buying lead on a business to business online, online marketplace like uh, ec21.com which is a Korean online business to business marketplace. And you find here a buying league that wants, for example, to buy 500 shirts per month at X price. You go to alibaba.com, which is the biggest business to business online marketplace in the world and find a shirt supplier and negotiate a monthly order of high 500 shirts at X minus 20% price. What you will uh, practically do in this situation, you will connect the two businesses and earn the 20% difference from the price. That means a 20% commission for you, which will be profit for you, which is the big advantage of business to business arbitrage and why I like this business model very, very much is the fact that it can be a monthly recurring income. Okay, why? Because uh, most of the times between businesses, uh, they, uh, they practically have monthly transactions. Why? Because a certain business needs uh, a certain material or a certain uh, supply of something, okay, uh, and practically needs it uh, on a monthly basis to run its business. Th that means you will have on and on transactions again and again and again, which practically means for you a recurring income if you negotiate your deal right, okay? Now let's go on to the other type of arbitrage with physical products, which is the business to consumer or to client physical products arbitrage. This is practically the, the type of, uh, of arbitrage that we will be focusing on in this uh, class. And this is the one that I, in my opinion, suggest you to start with. Okay, and practically we will focus more on business to client online physical products arbitrage, so not uh, practically uh, the classical way, okay? And the most popular type of, uh, of arbitrage from the business to client's uh, online uh, sphere is drop shipping. It's by far the most popular. It, uh, it has an ascending trend in the last couple of years. It's a business model that a lot of uh, people from all around the world are using su successfully 
to generate income and practically what does drop shipping mean or how uh, how is it made you order the products from a supplier so you find yourself a supplier for a certain product and your supplier will deliver the order that you make directly to your client so to your own client that wants to buy that product so the product never passes through your warehouses okay or through your hands or anything like that you just order the product from your supplier and he will deliver it directly to your client okay it's a very lucrative business model you don't have to to get stocks of products you don't have to build warehouses or to rent warehouses or other things like that okay that is uh, that is the fact that i like the most about this business model now uh, we have two options to do this type of, uh, of business to client online uh, pro or physical products arbitrage okay first one is the fact that you can build your own online marketplace where you will sell your products at your specific price point you need to be very good at marketing obviously it's like building an online store okay and after that you find your own clients for a higher price point uh, than the one at uh, which you are buying the products and uh, practically you will have a profit margin okay but you have to find somewhere those clients and that's where the marketing part comes in okay that's the part where you actually have to be very very good at for example a very popular business model right now it's adver it's creating drop shipping uh, drop shipping uh, online stores with shopify uh, promoting them with facebook ads there are people out there which are very skilled in facebook ads and they are making actually a couple of hundred thousand dollars in profits per month there are people that are actually at that level and they are marketing on their own so they have built their own marketplace their own online store and just by using facebook ads they uh, created a separated marketplace for their products at which they have set up a certain price point this is the best way to go if you are very skilled at marketing because you can actually take uh, take it to a whole new level and build your own marketplace the thing we will be focusing on and the one that anyone in the world can actually start with because you don't need any money is the fact that you can leverage different online marketplace okay this is the business model like ebay.com for example you can find products on amazon at a certain price uh, for example let's say $15 and on eBay those type of products are sold for $25 okay you can practically use the Amazon products to sell them on eBay let's say at $23 and you make a profit of $8 okay so practically you are uh, you are leveraging online marketplaces and you profit from the different price points that they have okay that's about it guys for this lecture thank you very much for your attention i hope that everything is uh, much uh, much clearer for you right now and i'm looking forward to see you in our next video bye bye till then sorry in here hello guys sorry in here welcome back to our uh, next lecture and video from our class three ways to make money online with arbitrage we have talked about so far physical products arbitrage okay how to leverage different online marketplaces uh, buy a product from a place for a cheaper price sell it on another marketplace for a higher price and making a profit margin right now we are going in a totally different direction uh, as in uh, what we are selling we are going for digital products we uh, uh, are skipping the part with physical products in this lecture so this is another way of doing arbitrage online and uh, uh, in my opinion or uh, let's say in my preference this one is the best because when you have digital products everything it's much more uh, simpler okay you don't have to ship anything you don't have okay to to see if uh, if uh, your product has actually reached your customer and other things like that because uh, everything is digital you can send it through the internet it's actually much more easier in my uh, opinion but both of the business models are very lucrative this is just another way for those of you who prefer to sell digital uh, products okay who prefer to do arbitrage with digital products now let's see exactly what's this uh, digital products arbitrage all about so let's dive into the information now we'll talk as i've mentioned uh, earlier about leveraging digital products marketplaces because exactly like we have 
uh, products, physical products marketplaces, we also have digital products marketplaces. And for our examples here, but we have different types of uh, digital products marketplaces, we will use Fiverr and uh, SEOclerks.com, which are two online marketplaces for digital services like social media accounts management, uh, logo design, um, okay, getting traffic to a video and other types of services like that. So. What you need to do is practically the or the first step the first thing that you need to consider is the fact that uh, you can and you will use micro jobs marketplaces and other digital products marketplaces so as i mentioned before we have fiverr and we have seo clerks and i will show you uh, in a couple of uh, minutes exactly how to use them okay how you can leverage uh, and do arbitrage with these marketplaces now you can sell either digital products like designs, ebooks, logos, okay, uh, promotional videos, or you can sell services like social media accounts management, okay, like I've mentioned before, for example, monthly service of managing your Facebook page or monthly service of managing your Instagram account or monthly service of managing your YouTube account, okay? These are just a couple of examples of how you can do that. Now uh, here, uh, here is an example. You can use, for example, seoclerks.com to find micro jobs that are only one dollar and can be sold on Fiverr for five dollars. You won't make a fortune out of this. You will only make four dollars. But if you have five or six gigs like this and each of them sells like two or three times per day, you you make the uh, you make the math and see exactly how much money you will make. But you will make at least thirty-five, forty dollars per day, which is a pretty good amount okay you can use Fiverr to find people who are creating designs for example or portraits okay for only five dollars and after that sell them on Etsy which you saw it's the marketplace for physical products personalized products handmade products but they also sell like uh, designs and other things like that and you can find on, on Fiverr a person uh, a seller that creates a, a digital design for only $5 and sell them afterwards on Etsy for $20. So you'll make a profit for uh, $15, okay? That it's about $15. Uh, what else can you do? You can go on Fiverr, negotiate with some sellers that you find them, that you find there, for example, designers for logo designs or promotional video creators. And you can create an account on freelancer marketplaces like freelancer.com or upwork.com. Okay, and practically you can sell those services there for a higher price. And on the other hand, you can practically buy that, those type of services from Fiverr, from the guy that you found and does a very, very good job. Okay, and practically you will, you will, uh, you will earn from, from, from this difference of pricing on Freelancer and on Fiverr. Okay, so this is another example of how to use this. Uh, Again, you can find great logo designers and f uh, on Fiverr and sell logo design services for freelancer or other platforms, exactly the, the business model that I've mentioned you uh, a couple of, uh, of seconds ago. Now, let me show you exactly how you can uh, use uh, SEO clerks and Fiverr because I just gave you that example. Uh, let us go in the browser. Okay, so we have here SEO clerks and we have here Fiverr. Now, if we go, for example, and YouTube views on Fiverr, we will search for YouTube views. Okay. We will find here a lot of sellers uh, for YouTube views. Okay. As you can see here, reviews, they got some reviews. Uh, not so many, but they got some reviews. Let's see average customer review. And for example, for this one, we have 4K reviews, that's that's amazing, okay? That's absolutely great. For this one, we have 960, 956. Uh, okay, for this one, promote and rank YouTube video, we have 1K and so on, okay? So we have different different types of, uh, of promotional gigs here, okay? And what we go, what we are looking for right now uh, for example, this one, it's relevant for us, 5,000 YouTube views, okay? For only $5, we go to seoclerks.com and here we can search for YouTube views, okay? And we press the button search 
and we are waiting a little bit and let's see so we have okay 10,000 YouTube views for only three dollars so if we are selling this service we will make a profit of two dollars now let's see what other options we have 1000 to 1500 for only one dollar uh 5000 for five dollars okay we have the same price here this one it's actually very very good 7000 plus youtube views for only two dollars here we are actually making making uh, three dollars in profit and here's one that is very very good 5000 youtube views non drops high retention for only one dollar so this is absolutely amazing guys here you make four dollars in profit if you sell like four like this per day on fiverr okay you will make about 16 17 dollars just like that okay just by making a order like that very very simple okay just by uh selling a service that's here for one dollar on fiverr for five dollars and you don't actually have to do anything okay just to take the order and pass it on and that's it so this is a very good example guys so after you buy after you practically see which are the offerings here for this type of services you can go here on fiverr and you create a seller account you just have to log in with facebook then you will have here an option selling and you can go to create here a gig because this is what you need to create you go and press create a gig and you create the gig here i will get you 5,000 YouTube views at only $5, okay? And so on, then you you type in the description, everything that you need to type in, and then you start to sell. And that's it, guys, okay? Very, very simple. You will go through all of these steps that you see here. I won't go through all of them right now in this video because it's not the purpose of this video, but uh, I just entered it here to show you as an example. And after that, you publish the gig and start selling and start profiting. Very simple, guys. Okay, very, very simple. And I am looking forward to see your success with this. Thank you very much, guys, for your attention. I hope this was helpful. I am looking forward to hear your feedback uh, about this and see your success with this uh, business model with digital products arbitrage. And I am looking forward to see you in our next video and uh, our next lectures. Bye bye for now. Sorry in here. Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome back to our next video and lecture from this class on three ways to make money online with uh, arbitrage. Uh, we have talked uh, a little bit before about uh, what arbitrage means. We have talked about physical products arbitrage in general, which are the options that we have. And uh, we have talked about the fact that we will focus on leveraging online marketplaces uh, in this particular class. So. Uh, let's talk more about actually how we can leverage online marketplaces and which is the step-by-step -step process that you need to follow in order to be able to do that. And it's quite a simple process, but you need to follow the steps so you can actually uh, end up applying all the process and have listings, selling products, making uh, sales and uh, then turning them into profits and so on. So the first step that you need to make, obviously, is to create your accounts on the online marketplaces you want to leverage. And I have some specifications here. There can, there can be online marketplaces that are local marketplaces, for example, in your country where you live or there can be global marketplaces like Amazon or eBay or AliExpress and so on. I would recommend you to start with eBay.com because it's the best marketplace for arbitrage and dropshipping at a global level right now, okay? Uh, not to mention the fact that uh, you can actually access a very, very big database of consumers that they have in the United States, which is one of the countries where people spend the most in the world, okay? That's why it's a big advantage to start with eBay because you have a huge marketplace with uh, a very big database of consumers and with, uh, with uh, practically very good buying habits and uh, a big buying power too, okay? Now, the second step would be that uh, you need to create your eBay account and configure your seller account on eBay.com. You will have a seller account and I will show you exactly how to do that. OK, how how uh, your seller account should be uh, should look like and how it should be configured. Uh, then the first step would be the fact that you need that a lot of products you will list on eBay can be found and order on Amazon.com. And I recommend you to start with Amazon till you get some experience with the business model. So you will also need to create an Amazon account. Okay. 
So practically the first, the fourth step, if you want to call it so, is to create your buyer account on the other marketplaces where from which you want to order your products and uh, and uh, drop ship them directly to your client. Okay, that would be the fourth step. Uh, now the fourth step or the fourth point is uh, other places uh, is to find other places where you can get your products from. Okay, for example, if you are living in the United States. It would be very good if you would look for other online stores like Home Depot.com, Best Buy.com, Kmart.com, Walmart.com, and so on. Why? Because you can find your products at better prices than on Amazon, and uh, also on some of these stores uh, that uh, have loyalty programs. You can create your own account. You can create your own uh, loyalty card. Okay and you can earn more money okay you can have a higher margin of profit because you are practically earning points for each order that you make you can get uh, special discounts for uh, some products and you can and that can turn for you into an extra couple of hundred dollars every single month okay which are very good money of course now my also my uh, my recommendation and six point okay or six step from our process is to always look for new sources from where to buy the products okay you always find new online stores new online marketplaces look for new opportunities okay maybe you can find uh, a best selling product that you have in a different place at a better price and you can increase your margin profits or uh, at a better uh, loyalty program and other things like that okay so always be open to new opportunities seek out these opportunities and you will uh, you will be able uh, by doing so to increase your profit margin thank you very much guys for your attention uh, i hope this uh, this lecture was helpful for you and i am looking forward to see you in our next video bye bye for now sorry in Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome back to our next video and lecture from our class Free Ways to Make Money Online with Arbitrage. We have talked uh, about uh, up till this point uh, arbitrage, uh, the, general, uh, the general definition of arbitrage, an introduction to physical products arbitrage, uh, how we can do it, how we can leverage different online marketplaces, which are the options that we have, which is the process that we need to go through in order to start selling, uh, start selling uh, online and making uh, profits from, uh, from physical products arbitrage. And now we will uh, go uh, a little bit in a different direction also with physical products arbitrage but we will uh, use a different type of marketplaces and we will talk about that in a minute let me just change the slide for you so we will talk about leveraging platforms like Fiverr and Etsy or Store Envy now for those of you who don't know what Fiverr is it's an online marketplace for freelancers or other product or service uh, service designers or merchants that are practically selling uh, their services or products for as low as five dollars so everything that you will find out there on fiverr products services everything starts from only five dollars now uh, on et and on uh, storeenvy.com there are a lot of sellers and people that are looking for products which are handmade or personalized or other things like that what we will leverage in this case is the designers that we find on Fiverr, for example, or the creators of, let's say, ho uh, homemade earrings. And we will practically sell them on Etsy for a higher price because on Etsy, one of the, let's say, hot products at this moment uh, is anything related to, to homemade products, okay? So practically we can find a supplier of homemade earrings on Fiverr which sells them for only 5 bucks and after that post them on Etsy let's say for 25 or 30 bucks okay and our profit will be that margin of 20 or 25 dollars is the same thing for storeenvy.com so which are the steps that you need to follow in order to start uh, doing arbitrage on this uh, on this model okay by following this model well first of all you need to create your account as your accounts as a buyer on fiverr or on other platforms which are offering services similar to fiverr because are there are other platforms like that out there you can search for them on google but fiverr is the biggest one and the most trustable in my opinion now after you do that you go and create a seller account on etsy.com and storeenvy.com it depends on which one of them you want to sell your products but if it would be for me i would start with 
etsy.com and I will show you in a couple of seconds how you can actually do that. After that, you need to know that you will sell mostly handmade and personalized products because this is the niche for Etsy.com, like handmade earrings, the example that I just gave you before, and personalized mugs. Identify your purpose here, okay, from the beginning in order to profit from this is to identify top selling products on Etsy.com and StoreEnvy.com and find a good supplier for them at a cheaper price on Fiverr.com. Now let me show you an example of how we can do that right away, okay? Just wait with, wait with me a couple of seconds. So we can go to our browser, okay? So right now we are on Fiverr.com as you can see here in my browser. And here we are on Etsy.com which is the platform where you will sell your services. So if we go to Fiverr.com and for example we look for personalized mug, okay? We are searching for that. We will find some things here. Okay, I will make personalized monogrammed mugs. I will make you a personalized mug, for example. Okay, so this is an example. Now let's see how much this costs. Okay, ordering process, custom mug specs. Okay, so add your item, file types. Okay. Okay, so here is a gig for personalized mugs. Now what we will do right now, this is only $5 guys, okay? So I will make your personalized mug for only $5. You go to etsy.com, search for personalized mugs, press search, and here we go. So if we take a look here, the cheapest one is $14. So even if you go for the cheapest price, you will still make around $8 profit, which is more than 200%, okay? Then we have other, other products, $49, $18, $14, $27, these are two, uh, $8 again, but this one is very, very simple. Uh, even for this one, you make a profit, okay? You make $3, $16, but each of these products sell guys that's what's important so this is one of the examples now what you can also do for example we talked about uh, homemade earrings earrings let's see if we find them here oh i don't think i've written well okay i don't find the homemade earrings let's see if i find them like this uh, yeah yeah so i will make you a cute ear cuff okay so I will make you a pair of cute angel earrings so here we have examples of different types of earrings I will make wire wrapped earrings gem crystals uh, I will make you elegant cooper wire wrap earrings this one are actually pretty pretty cool okay and let's see elegant cooper wire wrap earrings we take this uh, key phrase we passed it into itzy.com and let's see for how much are these selling. So here you can see that it creates them for, this seller creates them and sells them for only $5. And here we have them at $45, $15, the cheapest, the simplest model of them all. But uh, all of those that also have semi-precious stones or other things like that are going well past over $25, as you can see. Okay, so here you can make a return on investment of over 400 even 500 percent which is actually pretty cool so you buy something for five dollars and you sell it for 35 you make a 40 dollars profit like that even if you sell two or three pairs like this per day it's actually a great a great business and lucrative business model guys so this is how it's done after you find here your uh, your seller you negotiate with this seller okay you talk to the seller ask him all the conditions all you need to, to know about the products how does the shipment it's made okay how does uh, if it takes any money okay how much money is the shipment uh, in what uh, countries uh, does the seller ship and so on and after you have everything figured out you can go on itsy.com uh, you go to sell on itsy create your account and after that create your listing with the with the earrings or the mugs or whatever you want to sell here Okay, guys, thank you very much for your attention. I hope this was helpful for you and I am looking forward to see you in our next video. Bye-bye till then. Sorry.
Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome back to our next lecture and the video from this class, three ways to make money online with arbitrage. We have talked about physical products, arbitrage. We had an introduction into arbitrage. We have talked about how to leverage uh, different online marketplaces, which is the process that you should go through in order to start to make sales and profits and to actually uh, get this type of business going. And right now I want to give out some, uh, some tips, okay, for using eBay as an online marketplace as an online seller because probably you will start with uh, eBay.com this type of business and you should know these things when you start out because it will help you to maximize your results and actually get results as fast as you possibly can so let's dive into the actual information so tips for eBay sellers the first tip would be start with low priced products that sell fast so you can build a good reputation and increase your seller limits you will see that you have when you start out on uh, ebay you will have some seller limits and practically you want to increase these lim those limits from month to month to month so you can list more products in your online store and you can start to sell more at a higher value okay but first of all in order to get you going and get some traction with your ebay uh, ebay store to say so you need to find very very low priced products but I wouldn't recommend you under $10 or even under $20, okay? But to be lower price products so you can sell them fast, okay? You need to have cash flow very, very fast. When you start, you can sell products in total value of maximum $500. So this is in uh, direct relationship with what we have talked earlier, okay? So go for the products ranged anywhere between $20 and $50 okay because if we go if you go for example for a product that it's less than $10 or $15 your mar your profit margin will be very very small and uh, actually you will make very little money on that product okay be sure that you can add a margin of at least 40% to sell a product so you can actually earn money why is that because you will have some eBay fees for each product that you list okay that you need to pay to ebay for listing your product and selling that product into their marketplace you will also have uh, transportation or shipping for some of them and with a 40 percent practically margin profit margin you can make money pay your fees and pay your taxes and still have a very good profit uh, net profit okay that is the the thing that it's uh, it's of interest for you because you are actually building a business you want to earn money from this so do not go less for, uh, so do not go for less than 40%. Now, other tips. Always check your rating status. It's very important to obtain and maintain a top seller status. You will see and I will show you an example, okay, in our next video that uh, people who actually have stores that are rated as top sellers will even be able to sell a product uh, at a higher price point than everybody else. Why? Because just by the fact of being a top seller they will build much more credibility in front of potential customers so people will look at them with uh, with trust and they will be uh, much more likely to buy from that top seller than from an usual seller which has uh, maybe uh, a reputation that is not as good as the top seller's reputation okay if you have done everything right from your first month and sold up uh, to, to your seller limit, so you have passed that uh, 500, uh, uh, 500 uh, pr practically turnover point, you can ask for the seller increase directly to eBay. You can even call to them. You can, uh, you can tell them, okay, look, I have passed my... Uh, I have passed my limits i'm okay with all the orders can you please uh, check out and increase my limits because i want to add new products and i want to sell more because it's also in their interest for their sellers to be able to sell more because that's how they earn money okay from the fees that uh, they get on the listings and on the product sales okay so keep uh, all these tips in mind guys apply them and you will see you will get uh, very very good results with them thank you very much for your attention bye bye for now and i am looking forward to see you in our next video bye bye again sorry in here hello guys sorry in here welcome back to our next lecture and video from this uh, course in this lecture and video i will show you how you can find products that you can uh, post on ebay or on other marketplaces to do drop shipping on them how to find good products that actually sell 
and for uh, for this we will have uh, two act actually two methods that we will discuss about the first one is uh, to look into the actual marketplace where you want to post your product for selling that means in this case on ebay to look for the products that are actually sold and we will discuss a little bit more about this in detail after i told after i tell you which is the second uh, method which is to do a type of reverse marketing so to look into the marketplace where you will actually find the product that you will post on ebay for best selling products or products that are hot or on the trend or just appear and they sell very good and on which you don't have too much competition on ebay and before in a different lecture i just gave you an example on amazon with this silicon burger press because if you will look on burger for burger presses on ebay you will find only this type of burger press or this type right here okay you won't find find this type of burger press which is a silicon burger press for more uh, meat rolls to say so okay and this one it's not yet posted on ebay but how did i found this burger press not on ebay i came on amazon.com and i went in the home and kitchen department okay in the kitchen and dining and i looked for best selling products and i went through all the pages and i found this type of product okay now let me show you an example so you just go to departments home and garden tools kitchen and dining you press on this button here so this is for the second method guys this is uh, practically a sort of reverse marketing technique okay and you go here and you will have here best sellers okay you go to best sellers and then you can see everything in uh, in detail okay all the best sell selling products in this section of home and kitchen and you take them page by page okay see if you find any product that i don't know that you seem to like okay and then search for it on ebay to see what competition you have and if you don't find anything on the first page you can go even deeper to see the best sellers for example in bakeware in bar and tools in kitchen and table linens for example we go in in kitchen and table linens and we have even more here we can go even deeper into aprons i'm just giving you an example and we see the best sellers in aprons okay so which are the which are the chances for someone okay to to have the product here uh, to have the product that you will find here posted on ebay for for sale okay there is a chance but there is more likely for you to find a better product here uh, as the deeper you go okay into the into the categories than to find on the first page a product that sells and that's that's practically how i found the burger press that i've just showed you before okay and this is how you can find the aprons now let me show you the first method which is to go in the actual marketplace on ebay to see which are the best sellers for example right now we are on ebay.com and we can go in the home and garden section let's just press home and garden and we will have here more options bath bedding home decor home improvement kitchen dining which we can go to kitchen dining and bar and we can go to bakeware okay and we just went to bakeware and what we will do here is first of all go here and show only sold listings that's once to see what sells okay and then we will have cert and rated no 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 all this for all this first no view okay and price shipping we can sort after price shipping price shipping which would be a good idea but we have already spotted okay sold listings completed listings free international shipping also we can go for this one delivery options free international shipping and we can select a certain price range and we will go for 10 to 50 dollars and all listings okay size condition new okay we are interested only in new and that's about it material brand type color no this is what's important for us okay that's about it guys we can go even further okay to see here which 
uh, which is the material, which is the format and so on. But I think this is enough to, to see exactly uh, which are the top sellers, okay, uh, which are the listings that we are looking for, the prices, okay, we, the prices, it didn't took the prices from 10 to $50, actually, let's put 20 and let's see right now. Okay, and that's about it, guys, okay? So if we go to complete listings, we can see things that actually have been sold, okay? This is very important. We can see things that actually have been sold. So guys, this is how you'd find good products on eBay, okay, that are actually sold. You can see which is the competition on them. And afterwards, you can look for them on Amazon or on other online stores or in local stores or wherever you want to source your product so you can have a very good uh, profit margin. Now, thank you very much, guys. I hope this was helpful for you and I am looking forward to see you in our next video. Bye bye for now. Sorry in here. Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome back to our lecture and video from this course. In this uh, video, we'll talk about how to create and set up your eBay account. So right now we are on eBay.com. It's actually very, very simple to do that. So uh, do not panic. It's actually very, very easy, but I want you to have an overview of the process by uh, having like an, uh, like an uh, over shoulder view at uh, what exactly I am doing so you can do exactly the same thing for your own account. So right now I will create a new account. I will go here and press the button register. You see you have two options, sign in, which is for uh, users that already have accounts and register, which is for new users. So we'll press the button register because we want to create a new account. Uh, we will tap in, type in our email address that we want to use. Okay. Just a second. Then uh, we will uh, create a password. So I think it's okay right now. Uh, then we have to put our first name and last name. Okay. Then our telephone number because we will get a pin code from them. Okay, just a second. Let's see, let's see. Hey, I can't find just a second, guys. So here it was, we passed it, Romania. Okay, so let's type my telephone number right now. And we'll press button register, okay? And now we wait. Uh, do you want Google? Okay. Uh, nope, we don't want to save it. Customize your username. Uh, why is very important? This is a very important setting here to customize your username and we will discuss about it uh, at this point. It's not such an important setting from the standing point of a buyer, of you as a buyer, but it's more important from the standing point of you as a seller. Uh, we are talking about credibility here. So uh, people are reacting in a very interesting way when they are see when they are seeing different types of, uh, of username and practically when they will see a username that is more professional, obviously it will be more trustworthy in front of them and they will be more likely to buy from that uh, from that seller in the detriment of another seller. So uh, you should take care of this from the beginning, set up a username that it's catchy, it's easy to remember, it sounds uh, professional and it's trustworthy, okay? So for example, because you, you will be selling different types of products, you can do something with uh, uh, professional deals or uh, for example, I have on one of my accounts smart deals. Uh, so you can use, you can juggle with different type of, uh, of words like this, but it needs to sound somehow professional and to send out the message that you are selling uh, different uh, different things at very good prices and you are also trustworthy in the same time okay so I hope uh, all of this makes sense for you guys but I think you got the idea mainly okay so right now let's get back to our account we'll press the button continue and we are now uh, having an account and we are logged in into our account here on eBay. Now what you will do right now because we are again on the front page but the difference right now is that we are logged into our new account. We will go to my eBay and we will go here to the option selling and we will press this option. 
okay selling okay so after we have pressed the selling option now we are into our uh, seller dashboard into our seller account and we have created our account on ebay now thank you very much guys for your attention and i will see you in our next uh, video and lecture where where i will show you exactly how you need to set up your account in order to maximize your sales and profits and to avoid making different types of mistakes that can actually cost you money and time and you don't want to make them thank you very much again for your attention guys and i will see you into our next lecture bye bye till then sorry in here Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome back to our next uh, lecture and video from this course. You have seen in the previous uh, lectures and videos how to set up your uh, eBay account. It's actually very, very easy. Now let me show you some things that you can create in, uh, in your eBay account that you can set up as options, as preferences into your seller dashboard and eBay account so you can practically maximize your sales and also avoid some mistakes that would, uh, would cost you a lot of uh, time and also can cost you a lot of money so let's dive in the information so right now i'm uh, logged into my account this is the previous uh, last part that you also have seen in the previous video so we are uh, logged into our account now if we go here uh, with uh, our mouse over uh, this option the account option we will have an option here seller dashboard a button okay it's like a drop down menu we press this button seller dashboard and for me it redirected me uh, here into this uh, this uh, seller uh, seller dashboard so right now if you will press this button here seller dashboard okay and after that you will go here to seller account it will redirect you to this page okay so some of your information is not available at this time please try again later your account has not been created so your ebay account has not been activated yet why because you don't have a debit or credit card that has been posted to the account so first things first you need to add a debit or credit card to your account okay and also confirm your paypal account which you will do by by going here at this uh, option in the menu sorry not this one let's go back okay paypal account so new to paypal or already have a paypal account now it's your option you can use your already existing paypal account i guess you probably have an existing paypal account to buy and sell stuff online and uh, if not you can practically go and sign up for a paypal account directly from here okay and after you will have all of these options set up i will show you exactly which are the options that you need to set up on certain specifics so you can maximize your sales and practically uh, avoid making any mistakes that would cost you money and time as i've told you before thank you very much guys so keep in mind you need to add the credit and debit card so your your account can be actually created and confirmed and also create the paypal account if you do not have one or link your actual paypal account here if you have one thank you for attention and i will see you in our next video and lecture bye bye for now sorry in here hello guys sorin here welcome back to our new lecture and video from this course i showed you before how you need to set up your uh, seller uh, account okay how to create uh, your seller account and what you need to confirm your seller account after you have added uh, your debit or credit card and paypal and have confirmed your seller account you can go back into your seller dashboard you will have again these options here and if you go to the account option you will get again the uh, the menu here in the left side of the screen now what you will do and what is interesting right now because you need to set up those specifics so you can maximize your sales and avoid those mistakes i was telling you about about you go here to the site preferences button and here you need to set up some things okay and let's start from the beginning first of all you will have setting preferences okay sell your item form and listings show the exact quantity of items in your listing if the quantity exceeds 10 yes why will you set up yes here okay you add it if you have the no option and and uh, practically change it to yes just a second why do you want to to show because most of the time at least in the beginning because of the limits that your seller account has you will only have one item in stock that you sell okay again because uh, because of this reason you will also use the out of stock option okay why because if you have an item in stock and your item gets sold 
uh, you will practically need to redo your listing okay to recreate your listing and you will need to pay your ebay fees again for your listing okay and you don't want to do that you don't want to because you will have some some uh, ebay fees for each listing that you create it's around 20 cents okay and practically you don't want to do that for your listing that just got sold okay you just have the out of stock option and then you practically take it out of stock and your listing will appear again okay then you will have payment from buyers show this option here use checkout yes offer paypal this is very important if you have it set it up to no change it and change it to yes display paypal preferred on my listings if you have set this up to no change it to yes accept credit okay for me it's no include my items when buyers pay all their sellers at once using paypal yes this is an option use this payment address okay use sales text table no this one it's no then we will have shipping preferences okay what is very important here we have the uh, offer the global shipping program you should change this option to yes because in the beginning by default it's set on no you should change it on yes what does this mean you will have a lot of buyers for your products that that are from other countries than the united states okay you won't be able practically from uh, let's say from amazon directly or from uh, uh, I don't know if you buy from a local store something to drop ship it directly to them okay what you will do you will send practically uh, and eBay will will actually do this for free you won't send uh, the product directly to that client who maybe it's in another country somewhere uh, maybe in Europe or Asia okay you practically will send your uh, your uh, your product your order to eBay which has a warehouse uh, I think in Kentucky right now so you will sell you will uh, practically send the order to their uh, to their central warehouse and after that they will take care of all and send your package your order to the client in whatever country he is okay and if you don't check this on yes you will lose a lot of sales that come from other countries because there are people from other countries there are sellers who have even up to 50 percent of the whole sales that they make in a month from people who live uh, outside the united states and in different countries so you can lose a lot of sales and a lot of profits so don't forget about this offer the global shipping program check this yes okay and you can find out more about this if you press the button edit uh, you can see here okay you will find different uh, different uh, options you can opt out but i won't opt right now okay submit i will press cancel but you can find different options here about this program okay so after we have set this up we leave it like that okay the rest need to be set on no exclude shipping locations from my listings yes uh, and let's see what shipping listing what uh, shipping locations you should use okay you should exclude sorry so exclude shipping locations select the regions or countries you don't ship to domestic alaska u.s protectorates and you should check all of this so you exclude the shipping locations if any user of ebay from these locations want to buy your product they won't be able to do so why because the procedure here it's a little bit more, more complicated and you don't want to have that on your mind at this moment now let's go back so we have set this up preferences share your photos nope logos and branding buyer requirements manage communications yes yes send eBay, ebay purchase reminder email to buyers you should check this on yes if you if you don't have it checked on yes just a second guys because it took me out so promoting okay have been moved to marketing tools share your photos notes by requirements manage unpaid item assistant this is very important guys okay this is a very important option unpaid item assistant uh, let ebay open and close unpaid item cases for you automatically yes cases open four days after item and so there will be people that will uh, will actually buy your product but they won't pay for it and in that case uh, instead of you asking for refunds all the time okay and taking a lot of your time and energy on doing so you let practically ebay to handle these cases when actually people don't uh, don't uh, pay their products so what ebay will actually do 
uh, they will remind to those people in four days that they need to pay their product and if they don't they automatically refund uh, they automatically uh, cancel their uh, cancel their uh, their uh, order okay and they will make all the refunds and everything necessary and that's it okay so that's about it guys then we have general preferences reviews and guides show so hide your reviews no you need to leave it like this you want people to actually see your reviews actually this is a very important part uh, of uh, of what uh, you can do as marketing on ebay it's very important to have good reviews for your product and to be a top seller okay because people are actually looking at that and you are more uh, credible and trustworthy in front of them and that's about it guys these are all the options that you need to set up uh, to set up in the beginning okay in order to maximize your sales to be able to maximize your sales and avoid some time consuming errors or tasks and also cost consuming errors and tasks so guys this was uh, this was all set up your account like this and uh, you will have uh, better results you will see and you will optimize your work process very very much thank you very much again for your attention i hope this was helpful again and i am looking forward to see you in our next video where i will show you how you can create a listing thank you very much again guys bye bye for now hello guys sorin here welcome back to our next lecture and video right now in this lecture and video i will show you how to create a, a new listing okay how to practically put your first product out there for sale on ebay we are right now into our uh, ebay dashboard okay uh, into the selling account so my ebay all selling uh, as i've uh, specified and told you before you in the beginning when you set up a new account you will have a monthly selling limit so you have up to 10 items and up to five hundred dollars per month whichever comes first okay so you will have these limits after you pass these limits or uh, if you practically put, pass them very very quickly you can request higher selling limits okay you can even call ebay and tell them okay look uh, sales are going very well i need you to increase my my selling limits because uh, because i make sales i make the orders and everything is okay okay so you also can have a look at this how selling limits work so you can have an overview of exactly how these limits are are put out there and which is the purpose of them but the idea is that in the beginning that's why i've told you that for every listing that you make you will put only one product in stock okay because you don't have so many listings and you don't have such a big value okay and you will also choose products that are maximum five uh, that are that you will sell for maximum fifty dollars okay maximum so why because you also need to sell them very very fast now uh, what you will do at this point so after you have created set up uh, everything into your account you will go here and you will have an option sell an item you will press this option and for the sake of this example we'll go to amazon.com and i will look for something which is called burger press in all departments and we have different options here and from what i've checked on ebay and amazon it's a good place for you to check out new products that aren't already sold by other sellers there on ebay for example what you will find on ebay it's this type of press but you won't find this type of press okay and or this type silicon burger press so what i will do is go here on the silicon burger press okay first things first I need to give it a name i will just give it a name so i can create the listing i press the button get started now what's very important is the fact that you can go to a site which is called titlebuilder.com and here you will press title builder and describe your item into four keywords I will press i will copy paste silicon burger press here and it will give me some ideas of keywords that i can use to optimize my listing okay and here we will we will see some things okay search barbecue grill so people are searching these things and then we have extra burger press silicon okay so i need to use all of these keywords or as much as uh, as much as possible from them okay in order to create a listing and the title that it's op optimized and gets in front of people so people will, when people will search actually for something for any of these keywords i have bigger chances that my product appears in front of their 
in their eyes okay in their searches if i will use these keywords there and optimize the listing properly okay so whenever i want to create my title i will come here to title builder i will copy paste what's important for that product okay silicon burger press and i can see everything that people are looking for related to this okay so we have barbecue grill burger press silicon okay so i will use some of these things okay to create my title so right now we will have silicon burger burger press for barbecue and grill because these are things that people are looking for okay then we'll have search categories and we already have some things uh, okay that uh, are suggested to us recommended to us and they are actually good so we have home and garden kitchen dining burger press yard okay and that's about it now we will press the button continue and we wait for a couple of seconds okay and now we are at the next step so we have our title we have our categories condition okay new okay the the item is new we have to select this add photos so the recommendation is because i see a lot of people are practically adding only one photo to their listing is to add at least two photos and also the titles of those photos when you save them to your computer and upload them here should be optimized for a, for example one photo should be called okay it should have the name silicon burger press one and the other can have barbecue grill silicon burger press i give you an example only if you upload two of them and the recommendation is to upload at least two of them as i've told you okay so add edit your photos uh, you have to practically keep in mind that you uh, that you have some some uh, dimensions that you need to uh, that you need to look for when you upload your photos so you need to have your photos at least 600 pixels or uh, with 400 pixels or something like that okay when you upload them then you will have add item specifics okay upc enter upc which is upc it's like a, a code okay a barcode now what you will do is go here and you will have the ASIN number okay and you will paste this one here so this ASIN number you will paste here okay then you will have the type barbecue okay apron no this is not for you the brand if you have any brand for this and you type in the brand if it's a brand or not okay just a silicon burger press by silico okay so the brand is silico okay the manufacturer does not apply here you have to press this does not apply okay then you have color model if you have any model country region of manufacture you can put china probably it's made in china okay i can't find it china okay cancel add your own item okay if you want to add other things types okay details then you will have details and in the details section here you will copy these things here okay the details that you see here and also if you have other details here try to optimize this with the keywords that you have here in the title builder okay so check the the, the details before and try to integrate these keywords in the description of your product that you create here and practically you will only copy the details from here and from here if you can in this part here in the details and that's about it then you will have choose a format price fixed price remember to put at least 40 percent over the the selling price that you have uh, here on amazon which is actually 25 dollars so probably it will be like 36 99 something like that okay allow buyers to send you their best offers nope you check this off okay ebay for charity you can donate some some of your fees here okay donation percentage if you want to i do not wish to donate at this time you don't want to wish you don't wish to donate at this time select how you will be paid okay paypal and that's all okay require Im immediate pay uh, payment okay yes okay this is correct add shipping details us shipping okay so you will probably have ups ground 
one to six okay and for this type of item as you can see here i think we have free shipping which is kind of cool but uh, you need to look for that okay ship to yes i want free to okay you have free shipping for this it's 24 dollars and free shipping okay so you can add free shipping for this and ups ground yeah i think this is okay so this is the standard services check one of the standard services you can do standard shipping free shipping handling time to business days okay you don't want to put one because it's too uh it's too small time you don't want to put free business day because it's a too long time sell globally yes and then you will have package type okay dimensions then you will have to look here in your listing to see which are the packages dimensions okay product dimensions shipping weight okay so here here are the things that you need to copy and put in there okay so you will have to go here and press 11 11 okay the weight or less okay one be or less okay yeah it's 16 hours item location so uh, practically when uh, when you will add your first uh, your first listing here you won't have an address you need to write in a, a address for the united states of america okay it doesn't matter which is the address you need to type here an address for the united united a real address for the united states of america it doesn't matter what address it is but you need to put that here okay so you practically have the location of the item and that's about it add other details so you don't you don't need to add any details here and your fee so far and that's about it okay now which is the next step is press button continue okay description i didn't press the description i didn't have the pictures so these are the things that i didn't add to this uh, example but after you add the description and pictures you go press the button continue okay and your listing will be will go live and that's it guys so after that your listing will go live and you will start to make views for your listing people will start to watch it and after that you can actually make sales you will have your first product live for selling on ebay so congratulations for you guys now your fees for the listing so far because you will have that here are these ones okay 0 0.36 uh, dollars that's mean that means 36 cents actually so you will have to pay these fees but not right now at the, on at, on the spot to say so okay but that's the fees that's the fees of ebay for your listing and that's about it, it guys okay it's actually very very simple after that you will have your first product live and selling on ebay so congratulations for you thank you very much guys for your attention i hope this was helpful for you and i am looking forward to see you in our next video and lecture where i will show you exactly how you can find good products uh, to sell on uh, on ebay or through other marketplaces through dropshipping okay thank you very much guys and i'm looking forward to see you in our next lecture bye bye for now sorry in here hello guys and thank you very much for joining me in this uh, short series where i will show you how you can use gearbubble a very popular website platform uh, to generate an online income to build an online business out of uh, creating different types of designs and uh, selling them on different types of products like coffee mugs t-shirts uh, necklaces and other type of products like that obviously you might think at first sight that uh, this type of business or model of business is dedicated to designers but uh, that's not true anyone can do this type of business because even if you are not a designer you can uh, work with someone who is a designer uh, you can take care of the marketing part or you can hire someone to create the designs for you or buy the designs already created so there are different ways of, uh, of doing this business now first things first i want to get you introduced into the actual platform to see how it works basically let's say that you have a couple of very cool designs bought created by yourself uh, created by your partner it doesn't matter uh, what you can do is use those designs to sell them through this platform basically uh, on the platform you will automatically apply the designs on t-shirts on coffee mugs exactly like i've told you earlier and you just have to upload the design they will do all the shipment the fulfillment part for you the, they take care of the orders of the logistics and everything you just have to take care to have a cool design 
and uh, to promote the actual product that you want to sell, okay? So first things first, let me show you exactly how you can create an account on this platform. So the platform is called gearbubble.com and you will see that there are different spins that you can take for this business, okay? There are different ways of, uh, of doing this business, but let's first of all create the actual, plat uh, the, actual, uh, the actual account that you'll need in order to be able to sell this stuff, okay? So go to gearbubble.com. Uh, you will have some options here. Uh, for me, it's uh, as you can see, I've just signed out because I was already logged into the platform. Uh, you will have an option to get started, okay? Start selling your own products today. So you will create an account for free on their platform. I won't take you through the account creation part because it's actually very, very easy. So you, it's nothing that you have to worry about, okay? It's just a couple of uh, fields to fill in. Uh, which are personal information, email address, password, name, and that's about it. And after you have created your account and confirmed it from your uh, from your email address, uh, you come back to the to the platform on gear, gearbubble.com. You will have an option here, login. I will press the login button. That's what you will have to do as well. And you can see that I already have my information here, remembered by my browser. I will check this option remember me so that the next time I don't have to log in again I will be already logged in when I enter on the platform and what I want to do right now is press on the login now button and basically here it is my dashboard I've just logged into my account okay so this is the dashboard it's actually very very simple you see that you have some options here basically this is your menu get paid stores uh, invites discounts reports affiliate dash launch campaign uh, basically what's very cool about the platform is that you also have a this affiliate dash option so it allows you to sell your products through affiliates so to give out uh, affiliate commissions okay to people who are promoting promoting your products uh, in my opinion this is one of the best way that you can use to promote products because basically you don't have to pay for traffic and you don't for traffic that you don't know that will actually convert you are only paying for traffic that sells okay so that's why affiliate marketing in my opinion it's uh, it's one of the best way to go in any type of business then you'll see that you have this option here stores and i won't go into a lot of detail with that because in order to be able to access this uh, this stores part okay for you to be able to create a store on gearbubble you need to have at least three products live and how do you put a product live out there where first of all you have to launch a campaign. Basically, a campaign is adding your first product here on the platform to be able to sell it, okay? So let's see how we can add our first product, okay? First of all, we go to the launch campaign. We click on this. We have some options, traditional, couple, club, stack, store. We want to go for the traditional one. Okay, <clears throat> and here it is. So the first thing that we have to do is to select our product. Okay, you can see that this is a three step process. Select your product, create your design and add a description. So you can see all the types of products that we have here. We have coffee mug, necklace, bracelet, shirt, or hoodie, phone case, hat, beanie, pillowcase, poster, all over and leggings, which is actually pretty cool. So we have uh, we have like the 11 products, yeah, 11 products from which we can choose. So we can use the same design to sell on 11 different products, uh, which can be very profitable, obviously, right? But some of you guys maybe just want to do designs for coffee mugs, some just for shirts, some, some of you maybe just for beanies or for leggings. I know, I, for example, I've never tested leggings, but I think it can be pretty profitable and cool, okay? But I will just go for this example with the first option that we have with the coffee mug, right? So I will click on the coffee mug and I will press the next step button here. And here we go. We are into our next <clears throat> into our next step. OK, from the process, you can see that we have a button here, upload design. Uh, basically, you have to click here, you already have to have your design ready, already created in order to be able to put it on the coffee mug, okay? Uh, you can see your design when you apply it like this, or you can check this point here, use full wrap image, so you can see basically uh, how, it, how your design will come on the whole on the whole coffee mug, you can see that this area here is the center of the mug, okay? Why? Because it's round, the mug is round, so we cannot see how the design comes uh, 
only if it's in this wrap mode, okay? But I like to, to see it like this. <clears throat> but anyway, if you just want a simple design that it's applied on one side, that's okay. If you want to see the whole image, just use the full wrap image, right? Uh, then after you upload your design and I will just upload something for the test, you have to choose the default style. So you have to choose the type of mark that you want to use. Okay. And you'll see that you have like three or op uh, four options here. Okay. This one is the small one, uh, the variation, the metallic variation of this one. And you also have the color changing mark. So basically the color changing mark is that type of, of mark, which when you pour hot drink into it, hot water or something, okay, because of the temperature, uh, you will actually be able to see the design. Otherwise it will be black. Okay, so when the mug it's empty without any uh, any hot drink in it, okay, it will be black. Or when it has cold drink in it, it will be black. But when it's uh, when it has hot uh, a hot drink like coffee, tea, or something, it will become white and allows you to see the actual design, right? So this can be something very interesting. But I will go for the normal one right now. And uh, after that, we have to choose the color. So we have the default color. We can see that we can add other colors as well. We have white and black. Let's go for add color. Click color to remove. Okay. Add color. No. So basically for this, for this type of product, we have only these two colors. Okay. Black and white. Now let me show you how the design looks like if you upload a design on it. So let's upload our graphic. You can see that you, you have some requirements here like maximum file size, file types, uh, full wrapped image dimensions, each dimension, background must be transparent, logical. Okay, so taking consideration uh, these requirements, especially the file size and the file type. And I will just click on this button, upload graphic. I will look for cat. I know that I have downloaded the PNG icon with a cat. So this is it. I don't know if anyone would buy this, but this is for just for the example. Okay, so this is our design and this is how it looks on the actual mug. Okay, now we can play around with the design. I mean, we can move it, okay, wherever we want. But we want it in center. Okay, we can rotate it if we want to. As you can see, you just have to go with your cursor over the image and you have all of these options, right? You can resize it. You just have to click here on this small icon and hold the click pressed. Okay. And drag and drop to change the size. So I think this is a good size for this. Okay. We can center it. Okay. And that's about it. So this is how it will look. Okay. This is how our mug will look with the icon on it. Then you can see that the next option that you have is the base cost. So here is basically the price at which you sell. And here you can see the profit that you make for every sale. Okay. Now what you want to do probably is you want to check out the marketplaces out there. Okay. Where people buy coffee mugs, like the one you want to sell and see which is the average price and go pro probably for that price or even a little bit below. Or if you, if you sell something that is similar to other products, you have to go for the same price or a little bit lower. If you sell something that has uh, something unique and that's how it's recommended, you can go for a little bit higher, but not too much. Okay. I don't know, for example, if uh, a coffee mug sells for $19.95, I think it's a little bit much. I would sell it, for example, for $9.95 or $11.95. And I think that $7 for a coffee mug, it's more than enough in profit. I mean, if you sell like five this every day it's more than enough in profit for a single model that you have of coffee mug right then you can also give your design layer a name so you can save it for the future you can also add a text layer to the to the design if you want to or another photo layer but i don't want to i i just want to leave it like this okay you can also duplicate the image on the black on the back sorry that means that on the other side of the coffee mug uh, you will have the image the same image put again okay and if, when you are done with when you are done with everything you just have to press next step okay so we'll press next step and bear with me for a couple of seconds till the whole campaign loads till till the app loads actually so this is how the, the coffee mug will look like pretty nice right uh, you have to give your campaign a title. Be sure that you give a, a good title to your campaign, an attractive title, because this is what your customers are going to see, your potential customers. Okay, like super cool 
को लिमिटेड टिड एडिशन कैट कॉफी मग ओके समथिंग लाइक दैट एंड दैट्स इट देन यू हैव द डिस्क्रिप्शन ओके the description field it's already populated by them but you can add your own things in here your own details like the coffee mug dimensions okay the details about the design and stuff like that if you want to okay uh, like how many how many pieces are available you can add scarcity in your description and other things like that so it's your option obviously and after you are done with the description you have to choose a category for your product which is by the way optional but it's recommended at least i recommend you to do so and we will choose animals then you have to add tags like coffee mug okay cat lover okay cats mug okay store <clears throat> funny and that's about it okay so this is just an example you can add different tags uh, i recommend you to add keywords and stuff that are relevant for your product because it will be easier for people to find it that way and it will also help you maybe in time to get traffic from other places like uh, google the google search engine and other things like that then you have the campaign length okay and basically the campaign length length how much you want the campaign to to last okay like six days okay five days and when do you want it to end okay to select the hour then you have to choose a an url to create a an url for your product funny cat okay so this is our url start selling uh, set selling price so this is our selling price button text so you can choose the the text on your button by now campaign options evergreen so basically even if you have chosen the campaign to be only five days basically the campaign will be evergreen okay so you will be able to sell and sell and sell again and again set back as default side to show uh, for the product now we want it in on the front terms of service okay everything it's it's ready right now okay you have to check the terms of service obviously as well so check all the details once again so we can be sure that you didn't miss anything and after all this part is done you just have to press this button launch campaign okay and basically you will see that you are ready to launch your campaign okay so this is it guys very very simple our new campaign is now live let's check it out so you will see that we have this link here okay so this is our campaign okay 1195 super cool limited edition cat coffee mug okay buy it now so this is how your page of your product will look like okay you can just i think i've I didn't put the C in here in the funny, it's funny at, it should have been funny cat, but anyway, <laughs> we got the idea, this is just an example, so no worries. Uh, what you want to do is copy this link here and promote it in any places you want, okay, in order to get sales or you should have a marketing strategy before you launch a product, that's the whole idea. Or I will show you a couple of places in other videos where you can sell your products. Actually, this is the, the business model that I was talking to you about. Okay, so you can give different spins to this, to, to this business model. Either you already have a community centered and passionate about your niche or you can use different, uh, different techniques to get sales for your products. Okay, now let me go back because I haven't showed you an, a couple of other things here. You can view your campaign to see exactly statistics. You can optimize this campaign select related campaigns select an upsell you can upsell people maybe sell also a t-shirt you can set up a pixel okay maybe you want to install a facebook conversion pixel on your page so you can retarget people after that so you can do all of this this type of things but i won't go into any details because it can be complicated if you already know how to do facebook ads you know what facebook pixel is uh an upsell i think everybody knows what an upsell is basically you can create another another product okay with a different design or the same design like a t-shirt or a bigger mug maybe people will want to buy two mugs or the metallic mug or something like that and that's about it so you can go through these options as well if you want okay 
So this is it guys for this video. I hope this uh, was helpful for you. I'm looking forward to see that you have created your Gearbubble account and you have set up your first campaign. And I'm also looking forward to see you in the other videos and in the next lectures as well. Bye bye till next time, sorry in here. Hello guys and welcome back to this video where I'm going to share with you what you can actually do with uh, the products that you have designed and put on sale uh, using uh, using Gearbubble, okay? So basically you have seen how you can launch a campaign on Gearbubble, you have seen that you can create different types of products, you just have to upload the design, you can create t-shirts, necklaces, mugs, pillows and whatever you could think about that could be uh, obviously personalized. So uh, basically after you have launched your campaign there, your mug, your t-shirt or whatever, you want to sell it right now in the case in which you have a com community for example maybe you are passionate about french bulldogs or something like that and you have a blog or a website which has traffic you have an email database of people who would actually buy stuff from you or a community then that's fine you probably already know how to market your products but uh, what do you do when you don't have these things, when you don't have the community, okay? When you're just starting out from scratch and you just want to make a business and <clears throat> be able to sell a, a very good design that you create and you want to sell products with that design, okay? So basically starting from scratch without having any experience. Well, one way to go would be uh, to try out Facebook ads, okay? But Facebook ads are pretty expensive. They are not that easy to, to create and uh, basically to find the right the right type of ad. So probably you'd have to burn a couple of hundreds of dollars till you find the right combination. And you don't want to do that, right? Especially in the beginning when you are just starting up. Afterwards, maybe after a while, after you are making a couple of thousands per month, you are able to, I don't know, just throw away a couple of hundreds of dollars to optimize your Facebook ads in order to work. But in the beginning, you do not afford to do that, right? So you want something that can generate your sales like free traffic, okay, or something which is pretty targeted and you somehow know for sure that will generate sales for you. Uh, some of the first things that I, I would recommend you guys to do is uh, try out to s try to sell your products on marketplaces, okay? And a first example of marketplace where you can sell your products is Amazon.com. Basically on Amazon, you can become a seller. Okay, it's very easy to become a seller. You have to pay like uh, a monthly fee of $49. And afterwards, if after you become a seller, for the first month is free. So don't worry about that. You don't have to pay the $49 from the beginning. It's free the first month. Uh, so you have like a trial period. Afterwards, it's $49 per month. It's not a big deal. Uh, if you are, if you have multiple listings and you start to sell, it's actually, it's not a big deal at all. So how do you create your Amazon seller account? Now, what does that mean? For example, if we go to an Amazon product, okay, or let me just go to the department store. Let's see mugs. Let me just search for mugs. Okay. It's much easier this way. Okay. And let me scroll down. So you can see here that there are a lot of types of mugs here. And the cool part is, uh, for example, if you look at this one, okay, uh, this mug here, it says FBA seller, okay? So basically, uh, this mug is sold by a seller like you. This one, the same, the ones that where you see FBA seller, it's sold by, by someone like you. This one, the same, this one, the same, this one actually by eight different types of person is sold. So as you can see, there are many people like you who are selling uh, who are selling on Amazon, so it's very, very easy to do it, okay? It's not so hard. What you want to do in order to be able to sell like this, you have to go on Google, seller, search for Seller Central, okay? You have to go to this first address here, sellercentral.amazon.com. <clears throat> and here, because I already have an account, I won't log in, but the, the, the whole idea is that not already selling on Amazon, you have to register, okay? Go and click on this link, register now. And after you register, okay, you will have two options of, of selling. You will have fulfillment by Amazon and you don't want to do that one. That's for something different when you have your own products, your own stock of products, okay, and other things. And you will have another option fulfilled by merchant. That's the one that you have to go for. You have to create uh, your seller account and you, then you have to list a product and select 
sold by merchant, fulfilled by merchant. What does that mean? Whenever somebody orders your product, you will get all the details from them. They will pay to Amazon and after, and with those details, you can make the order on, Gear, on Gearbubble and send their order, okay? So this is very easy. So you get paid in Amazon, you get the details of the person who pays you. This is called drop shipping, okay? You get the details where the address and everything where you have to ship the product. Then you go on Gearbubble, you make an order on Gearbubble with the details of that person and Gearbubble will deliver the, the, the products directly to that person. It's very easy, it's called drop shipping. You just copy and paste the order from Amazon with the details of that person and put the order in Gearbubble and that's it. It will ship directly, Gear, Gearbubble will ship it directly to that, uh, to that client, okay? Very similar to what you can do on Amazon, it's eBay. You, you can go to eBay, also we probably already know it's a huge marketplace. You have to create an account, you'll have a selling option in your account and after you, you apply to become a seller, an eBay seller, you can start to create listings. You have a maximum of 10 listings in the beginning. Afterwards, after a certain number of transactions and after a certain amount of money which went through your account, uh, you are able to uh, list more products, okay? But in the beginning, just create an account on eBay. You will see that you have the possibility to sell after you create your account and you just apply for that uh, for that uh, selling account, okay? Create your first listing and sell the products through eBay. Now, why do I recommend you to go to these marketplaces like Amazon and eBay? Because they already have traffic and it's free traffic and more than that, these are actual people who are looking to buy stuff, okay? Because otherwise they wouldn't searching for products on marketplaces, right? They, these are people who are actually interested already in buying stuff. So the probability for them, if they go to see your product on your listing, to actually buy your product is very, very big, okay? Because they are already interested. That's why they are on eBay or on Amazon to buy stuff, okay? So this is very important. Now, another website that you can use in a very similar way, like eBay and Amazon, it's Etsy.com. Now, most of the sellers which are here on Etsy.com, for example, let me go to jewelry, anklets, okay? So most of the sellers that you'll find here are people who are doing like handmade jewelry, handmade clothing and stuff like that, you know, different types of hand, handmade stuff. Uh, so basically something like coffee mugs or things like that. Let, let me search for coffee mug, right? Coffee mug, okay. So things like coffee mug, personalized coffee mug and stuff like that, you will find them all over the place here. And basically you can sell them for a very good product, right? You can see here $14, okay, $14, $10. So you, you actually get a very good margin for these products that you'll sell that you'll sell here, okay? So this is another way to go for it. Go on Etsy and people who are coming on Etsy are actually interested in buying this type of stuff, okay? Because this is a marketplace for stuff, uh, for products which are personalized and handmade, okay? So this is a very good place also to put your products. So right from the get-go, I just given you free options that you can use in order to start from scratch to sell your products from Gearbubble, okay, without without actually having to put any other money into advertising or creating, I don't know what other kind of things, okay? Now, another thing that you can do, and this is the final, the final, uh, the final thing that I will show you in this video, is actually create a Facebook store. So what you have to do is go on fa Facebook, create a Facebook page, like something related to the niche, okay, that you are selling the products in. For example, I, I've, uh, I've talked before about French Bulldogs, right? So that was our niche as an example. Now you can go on Facebook, create a page related to French Bulldogs, okay? <clears throat> and after you create a page, you will see that on Facebook automatically right now in the tab section right here, you will have this option shop, okay? So basically all the pages have a shop on Facebook. So what you can do is also create a, 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 a shop on Facebook. So go into this tab, edit it. You create, you will see that it's very intuitive, very simple to create it. Create a shop on Facebook, add your product from Gearbubble there with uh, details and everything. And after that, as I've told you before, if you are experienced in, uh, in advertising on Facebook, you can create your own Facebook ads to advertise your shop on Facebook or <clears throat> You can drive traffic any other way, okay, to your Facebook shop, maybe invite friends who you know you are, are passionate, go into groups, okay, Facebook groups about French Bulldogs, go on Instagram, search influencers that can promote your product and so on, okay. So there are different 
different uh, ways of approaching this as a business but my recommendations uh, especially in the beginning go on amazon go on ebay go on etsy create those accounts publish your products there and you'll see that sales will come in if you choose the right price and you create a beautiful design and a beautiful listing okay guys thank you very much i hope that this was helpful for you and i hope that you'll put this in practice and also i hope that you will make a business out of this and that you will make many sales and many profit profits i'm actually looking for your success stories out of this and feel free to reach out if you have any questions and till next time and till my next videos and i expect you to i expect to see you in my other videos and lectures as well i wish you all the best and maximum success bye bye for now sorry in here